entire Torah is to sanctify our lives. And that's really what it comes down to. Are, are our lives sacred? And do they truly matter? Not only because the, the, the bacteria will survive better, but because there's, there's some true value to, to certain virtues. And light is not the absence of darkness, but light is an end in itself. And if we see the universe in that fashion, it's a whole different type of universe. <clears throat> so it's true that there's much darkness in this world. I'm not going to deny that. That's obvious. And it's true that if you make a list, as I said, you may find more, more problems with this world than good things. But at the same time, that's quantitative list. Qualitative list, as the Torah puts it very simply. Every human being is created in the divine image. And by virtue of that fact, you are indispensable. And not because the, the, the colony can't survive without you, but because you, by the virtue of your being, by the, as, I, as I often put it, God, birth is God saying that you matter. You have an invaluable, indispensable contribution to make. And your purpose of your life is to sanctify the world around you. But we were thrown into a dark world, which is the challenge of our lives, is to overcome it, not become overcome by it, but to transform it into a place of light. <clears throat>